everyone welcome to my youtube channel i'm here to show you how did i make this beautiful ocean inspired resin board this video is not for beginners but i will try to explain as easy as possible so first of all i'm mixing my sand with resin this is the real sand and i just bought them because um it's kind of cleaner so um a quick tip for you here before you uh, pour your resin on any kind of wooden surface just sand your wooden board because if your board is already oiled resin is not gonna stick to the wood and uh, you can peel it off and another tip for you here I am pouring kind of dry sand on that uh, sand that I mix with my resin because I want to have this dry look you know because when it's dry it's kind of lighter and looks more beautiful if you wonder why I'm using a red color it's because it's a commission and it's a wedding gift and the bride loves red so um, I actually mixed pigment paste with a little bit of alcohol ink I'm going to write in the description the exact uh, paste that I used and you can uh, buy them all on my Amazon uh, front store so this was my first layer I'm going to let it dry and if you wonder why I don't add any white I have another tip for you so I'm going to add the white and my wave actually on the second layer because in the first layer my sand is not dry yet and it's not actually leveled with the whole part of my resin pool so I'm not gonna get beautiful cells and my wave is going to fade and be kind of messy and not pretty so I'm uh, doing it in the second layer where the sand is kind of leveled with the resin and I'm gonna get beautiful lacing So as you see the cells are popping up and that's exactly what we need uh, in an ocean inspired resin art. The wave is most important part. So this was the second layer and you can do as many layers as you want. I will let this one dry and I'll be back. So I added another layer on top of that and this is actually my last layer that I'm doing. I just I love the depths and that's why I'm adding another layer but you can just make one two as much as you want and another tip for you guys I am doing the second and third layer kind of more transparent that uh, means that I didn't use that much pigment and the reason is um, when you see the underneath layers it's kind of uh, it gives your work more depth you know you can see that you did more than just one layer and more detail actually makes your art more beautiful Thank you. 
so this was my last layer and thank you so much for watching i hope you could use the tips that i gave you in this video and um to support me to make more videos please subscribe like or comment under this video if you have any questions let me know and i will give my best to answer every one of your questions look how beautiful it turned out i hope you make beautiful artworks you can always tag me on instagram i will share your artwork on my instagram account and love you guys see you next time